Hi, I'm Lady Genevieve, and I am back to resume watching Queen Charlotte for the first time. I am about to start episode three. If you see me picking at half a croissant that I have near me, it's because in between recording, I went and got up to grab some food because this feels like a true marathon because it has been <laughs> a real chore to watch this show. There are some good parts of the first two episodes, but there's just so much about it that I have issues with. And presumably you figured that out from watching the videos. But anyway, let's get on to it. Intimate? Is that how old people say sex? What's all this food for? You already had the wedding. I'm here because you are. You hold the king and she is looking for him. I thought they were not speaking. Well, they're still not speaking. Weird how you're having so many problems with your relationship because you're not communicating. Funny how that goes, isn't it? Go, attend to your queen. Coronation day is a great day for her and the country. Is it? Funny how I don't care. Why is he not being examined by the royal physician? Brimsley, you have seen nothing. Oh, yes, you did. Go tell her. Go tell her. I do not care what mother says. Today's a great day. Sit still. Are we still in the past or are we in the present? Who is this? Oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> and so big. Mother was going on and on to all the ladies at tea. That their love means we now live in an unnatural society. Oh, it means your mother's a fascist and needs to be guillotined. Hurrah! Justice is served. And yes, I will serve her at court. She's our queen. That makes her special. But the rest of them? Socializing among the ton. Mm. How dare you! I don't like the mother, I don't like the father, I don't like any of them. Nope, none of them. Fire everybody. Oh, is that Violet? Oh, wow, that took a minute for that to sink in. Violet Bridgerton, or wh what is her maiden name? Violet Ledger, stop talking this instant. Back whoa, whoa, the whoa, whoa, whoa. fuck up. Okay. Get whoa. away from me, all of you. What has the governess been teaching you? Well, Latin mostly, but I would like to request advanced mathematics. Oh, she is adorable. That took me a minute. I was going, who is this child? And why do I care about her racist, disgusting parents? But for a royal in need of an heir, children are more than a hope. They are a necessity. Oh, I don't care about this. I was bred to be a warrior, cow. Where did you train? On a farm? We're on episode three and so much of this is just not working for me. So I'm sorry if this is disappointing you in any way, but I just, I really don't want to lie about my authentic feelings and analysis of the material as it's being presented to me. I kind of assumed that there would be a fair bit of ideological conflict between the show based on premise alone and me as a viewer, but now actually watching it in its completed form, I gave it the benefit of the doubt if they were going to get me invested in the core romance and what have you, but we've hardly spent time with Charlotte and George. And if there was any way to really get me on board, it was going to be highly dependent on them just being together and spending time with one another and us falling in love with them falling in love with one another. And we've seen so little of them romantically interacting and connecting with one another. Even the first scene of them consummating their marriage, it's just, I can't really enjoy that because I haven't seen enough of them to get invested in their connection with one another. Dearest, can you marry a dollhouse? Can you embroider me an heir? Then shush. She is confiding in you. She is. Well, G and the king are now very happy together. I love that she's lying. And everybody should lie to monarchs, among other things. <laughs> Which country did you steal those jewels from? Are you coming? Yes, because I would very much like to have the opportunity to no longer hear your voice. Not them trying to play this off like, oh, well, we don't like each other, but we, we have a certain type of chemistry. Well, you know, to uh, be fertile. I hate the way that he breathes. They're sitting so far apart from one another. Leave me alone! It's a jacket, though! 
Tis an even day. It is. Are you about to? No, you are not. With everyone still there? <gasps> you can't make love to a salad. Oh, the day has been heated. My thoughts exactly. <sighs> Just get in. All right. Regardless of how funny it is that they're very obviously denying that they're more attracted to each other than they would like to admit because they're being very stubborn, I would like for them to talk a little bit more. I mean, I understand that clearly a central issue that they're having is that they're not good at communicating and fine. But it's also episode three, there's only six episodes. You need to have some sort of conversation. Has it always been his way? For a time, yes. But why? He does not seem shy with people. He has no stutter. Oh, not the stutter. That's a, that's an Easter egg. <sighs> she looks so cute with her Ooh, headband, I love it. It's fashion. Is it fa wait, what is it fashion? It's fashion. Stop it! After all, I am now, what were those words? Ah, living for the happiness or misery of a great nation. Yeah, she heard you. She heard you. I hope you're embarrassed. A royal baby is a cause for celebration for the commoners. Ew. A sign of love to all and ensures the succession of the bloodline. Oh, please stop talking. Please stop talking. Please stop talking! Kimiko-chan, come here, say hello. Come here. Improve the quality of this video by saying hello. What do you think? Are we an anti-monarchy family, Kimiko-chan? What do you think? See, she doesn't want to watch Queen Charlotte either. <laughs> Kimiko-chan is a special little girl who has cerebellar hypoplasia. You are so cute, you know that? There's my husband's birthday today. Uh, was, would, 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 would have been. <laughs> oh my God. Edmund's birthday would have been today. When are we getting a Violet and Edmund prequel? But trust me, you are most fortunate. I'm sorry, did they not say in season two, Lady Danbury said, I have loved, I have lost? Who did she? I'm so confused. Well. See, I saw the hair and I briefly got excited thinking, oh, Friedrich. And then I'm going, it's probably not. It's just some blonde white child. I'm just assuming that it's the same person. It's not. A child named Mozart. Where is he from? <gasps> Mozart! Can we get a little Le Nozze di Figaro, please? I would also accept Cosi Fantite, but you know. Le Nozze di Figaro is preferable. Oh, oh! Sir? Nymphoid mania. <laughs> Perhaps Lady Danbury can withdraw the invitation? No, I cannot ask no. Her that. No, she will not. No. Mm -mm. I want to go. Where was my invitation? I wanted to ask if you would encourage the other ladies in waiting to attend. Did you not invite them? I did. Then what is the issue? Please don't tell me she has to learn what racism is. is. Do you not understand? You are the first of your kind. That opened doors so we are new. Do you not see us? What you are meant to do for us. I know how difficult it must be for you to overcome all those years of upper middle class suburban oppression. <laughs> must be tough. You are our queen. Your focus should be your country, your people, our side. And she does nothing about her people in the present day. So why exactly am I supposed to care about this moment right here? Because whatever message she's going to learn, whatever revolution is meant to happen, doesn't stick. She does nothing but snort whatever she's snorting in her palace. Elephants and zebras or whatever it is that she's got stolen animals from some country in the global south for her own amusement at her palace. Let me show you where I house my elephant. They are killers of Turku. They must die here, today. You live for the happiness and the misery of a great Charlotte. nation. No. What great nation? 
In the garden, I'm a regular man. Farmer George. Do not feel sorry for me. I do not know anything else. I don't feel sorry for you. You and your palace. Oh, boo -hoo. I've always been this. An exhibit instead of a person. You are a person to me. I'm sorry, why is it her responsibility to be empathetic towards his struggles? What about her? I know you do not like social events, but I need us to do something. What do you need? Our palace walls are too high. I knew she was gonna go to the ball. I wasn't necessarily expecting her to bring him, but I knew she would go to the ball. There was just no way. This is the social event of the season. Well done, Lady Danbury. I like you. Let's be friends. I don't quite know how to feel about, oh yeah, be friends with me, just please, you know, disregard the fact that I have a horrendously racist wife. Well... They are not mingling. Are we gonna get a West Side Story situation? Boys on the outside and girls on the inside. Boys on the outside and girls on the inside. Hey, where are you? <gasps> Alicia Keys? As I live and breathe. I know you better play those runs, first violinist. I mean, this is insulting to my intelligence to presume that this is how it would go, but um, you know, the people who make these shows, they insisted on doubling down on this asinine concept. Beautiful gowns, though. Beautiful gowns. He is so happy. I have never seen him so. Look at him. Yeah, because that's what putting a person in slow motion means, actually. You never have to thank me. We are a team. Are you? You've done nothing to communicate that to her, sir. Nice eyebrows will only get you so far. With one evening, one party, we have created more change, stepped forward more than Britain has in the last century. That's what you think? It's so immensely insulting. If you do any amount of research into history and the enormity of the amount of labor and energy required to actually cause change my lord have you finished oh is he dead <gasps> don't 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 stop go on <laughs> stop! oh the performance of a lifetime darling We're making progress with their relationship at a snail pace. This is by far the least favorite of all the Bridgerton stories. It's not even close. And it's not just the monarchy propaganda. It's just, it's just some very weird choices with the pacing of the story, the development of things and- Your Majesties, can I- George is working. You... Go back to your post, we are you... fine. Is he sleepwalking? Stand guard at the garden door, clear the back hall, lock the servants in downstairs if you must. Keep everyone away. Please, Brimsley. I would like some answers, please. I'm exhausted. We are halfway through. You and Venus? Yes. And Venus is going inside. You need to come with me. All right. I mean, if they had focused on this from the beginning instead of all this political, ideologically backwards, bankrupt nonsense, I'm a little bit more intrigued now, but anyway, let's see what happens with episode four.